Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Platinum. And in this episode, I'll be finishing exploring Iron Island, getting the egg off of good old pal who is helping, well, I'm helping him get through the rest of this place. But first, I'm just going around trying to get the rest of the battle. So, without further ado, time to get going. Go and place these two. Go get the item up the well, not the top, but to the left of this area. And yeah. But I've still got to get there first. But as you know, otherwise you've seen these battles are relatively easy if you just do a 1v1. And it assures that Blaze gets a good amount of experience as well. So, why not, I guess? And there is something else I can do as well that I might as well do. I've got Fuego Ironworks. I think, yeah, I think it's Fuego. It's something Ironworks. Um, I guess I might as well show that off as well. Because a big event will happen once I've done the Sip Gym, so I guess I might as well go to Fuego Ironworks first. Yeah, as you know, I'm freshly off holiday now. So, back into the YouTube videos. Delving deep. And hopefully not derping on Prince of Persia. <laughs> Once I get back into that playthrough. Which should be tomorrow. Because obviously I'm obviously going to stick to what I've been doing the past few months. With the exception of a few day break between some playthroughs. Is another worker. Don't know how many uh, battles are left, but hopefully I'm done fine for now. But I don't exactly remember all the battles because it's nearly two weeks ago now. Just don't exactly remember the battles, but I don't think there was many left I had to do. Probably not. Let's see, you've got the team. Two team uh, galactic members you saw, as well as two workers I'm currently going through. Maybe others. I don't remember now. I've slept a lot since then. <laughs> but yeah, this didn't seem too bad. Obviously, Blaze is over level because I only focus on doing one at a time, but you get what I mean, hopefully. So that's that battle done. A lovely uh, small amount of experience there. There's not always any need for big chunks of experience. And max potion come in handy later. And that's one thing actually, I don't remember how many... Oh no, what, four normal repels left. I don't remember if I bought any other repels. Bugger. So it looks like there's not anybody else around but the Team Galactic Stooges. But yeah, I don't think I need to use HP up. Um, but I'll see if... No, so his EV is high enough for that. I won't need... To, well, I won't really be able to use that uh, and increase his EV until level 100 because that's what EV training basically is now what am I doing? so basically you power level them bleh, power level them when they're on max level basically which is useful for stuff that I don't really bother with but other people do alright so now it's time for the final battle in this area I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So that's what we're gonna do. 
We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island. To share in all the joys and all the sorrows. This is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Suno. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Phantom. This is one battle we can't lose. Not like I'm gonna lose it anyway. <laughs> of course. But yeah, it is a hefty, big <coughs> double battle. Like the other ones would have been. So yeah, Lucario can easily deal with Glamiel, but not really Zubat. Because it's flying... Yeah, it's poison fly and then yeah fighting types are weak against both of those types so Lucario could probably two shot Glamial but use Metal Claw still dealt with it <laughs> while raising its attack and see how I was trying to be smart there so here's a Hound Door I could Mac punch that, but because this is a crow gunk, I'm going to flame all the crow gunk so that Lucario can deal with Houndor because that's a dark type. Or what other type it is, I don't remember now. But use quick attack on Houndor anyway. Nearly dealt with it. Lucario should have used a different move. Any other move would have probably defeated it as long as it wasn't ineffective. Because quick attack's weak, it just ensures that it attacks first. So it's good, obviously, when the Pokemon is weak. So yeah, I think it is Dark Fire by the looks of this. And it's super effective against the Lucario. So I'm going to use Flame Wheel on Stunky. I was, over, I was thinking then, is he going to quick attack Hound or Stunky, but it chose the right one. And then Blaze can use Flame to take out Stunky. There we go. Not many left. Well, one left. And it's a goal bat. No big deal though, not really. It's only a goal bat. There we go. And a critical hit just to make it all the sweeter. There we go. Oh, bless him. No, well, I guess Lucario is a badass, so yeah. Stop! I said stop! Your combination is so sick! The both of you and your Pokemon! Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you, of course? This is why I have uh, left an empty slot. As I think I said, yeah, don't really need to hear this bit. But I don't actually remember if you meet Riley again till post-game, if you ever see him again. I think you do, but oh, I don't remember. But anyway, times to exit Iron Island. Over this way, you get one of the Reggie Trio. Um, not yet, obviously, but you eventually do. And you saw how catastrophic, bleh, catastrophic my attempts of catching Reggie Rock was. So yeah, they all appear in this very, in this very spot. So, because it's a metal coat, I'm guessing that is Reggie Steel. But yeah, I think I remember... I, oh, I don't remember if I said it or not. But I think I did mention that... Um, it's a bit weird because you need Reggie Gigas for the Reggie Trio. And the Reggie Trio for Reggie Gigas. So, basically, you need to use the event to unlock all four. Or you can trade over the Reggie Trio and do it that way. But anyway... I'm going go to go over to the Fuego Ironworks now. Um, you need to go to Floroma to do it. But I can easily fly back here once I've explored the ironworks. I believe it's called the Fuego. I don't remember that, as I keep on saying. But you can get to the gardens at the back of Floroma as well. 
Oh look, this kid dressed as a Pikachu, I could have fought him, never mind. It's fine now. Sometimes you don't think about it, if you don't really talk to NPCs. Yeah, I don't know how long it will take um, for the egg to hatch. I mean, it is a pretty good Pokemon that hatches out of it. And you'll see what it is eventually. So yeah, I think this way to the other end of the gardens, and this way to the ironworks. I'm going to do it this way. First, I need to see how many repels and stuff. Right, I've got two super repels. Um, a three max repels. You know what? No, nah, that's fair enough. That's fine. So, just a normal repel will do for now. So I don't, I don't even know if it popped up with the name of the place yet. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly pop a save, just to be safe. It's always good to be safe and to be sorry. Oh no, it looks like you don't get there through this way. So it's a good thing I did come this way first. Good. Now I'm guessing what popped up was this, the Valley Windworks. Fuego Ironworks is all the way this way. I think you do have to go on this water, but I will explore it. But this is something that can be easily missed. Well, I don't know if it's easily missed, but... If you never really think about trying to go everywhere and just rush through, you can easily miss it. Because you don't need to come here, obviously, so... People might not think about going to the optional places. Oh no, so you can get, you can just surf on this bit, well, from this bit, but this will do for now. So yeah, I think, yeah, it's called Fuego Ironworks, fair enough. So I'm going to go in here first, to the meadow, and there are loads of items here. I think there's a few hidden items as well, like... This very patch, for example. Like... This very patch... No, oh, no. Like... This very patch, for example. No. No. I'm sure there's more than one. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but anyway. Let's have a look around for more. Well, here's another item here. Yeah, this is a very nice place, is the meadow, in terms of items. Repel run out, but never mind. Rare candy. Whoa. Fantastic. I'm going to keep that till later, actually. There's no need to rush with using it. Hang on, I'm sure there's a secret here. Yes, hyper potion. Whoa. 200 health off the bat. Lovely. But, that's that. Little area explored to show it off. See, I'm not going to go in the ironworks just yet. No, well, yes, I am now. But I've seen that. There's not much around here. I think you get stuff like float souls and stuff like that in this patch of grass. I don't remember. Or you get uh, magma. Well, magma. Which is pretty decent, but... There's no point fighting it. So this is the ironworks themselves. But I'm going to go up here and see what's up here. So this is just Route 205. I'm going to go that way. Back. Just in case there's something across that way. I don't think there is. But I think you can get encounters in the area. But you have to get to that man that you just saw there. And I believe he gives you something. It is a yellow shard. This is for Thunder Punch. Is it Thunder Punch? Whatever it is. But it's electric type move. Because you get a fire type. And you get the red ones. Yeah, red one for fire. Blue ones for water. Yellow ones for electric. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of fire types in here. There's a few. 
you get. Fuego Ironworks is like a foundry. Well, I'm sure I remember him having fire types. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting mixed up. Well, see, it's good to show this off. I mean, I could have done this beforehand. I kind of forgot. Well, I did forget. But never mind. It just looks like... There's fighting types in here. For now. Oh, God. <laughs> bit weird then. If that sounded a bit weird, I apologise. I mean, try to hiccup and burp at the same time. What? That's just weird. <laughs> Ah oh dear. But at least Blaze is on level s well nearly on level 63. Which would be a nice level for the Sith gym. See, I think going across all those pads is a troll. No it isn't, it's the way to go. But this way you don't have to go to. Hang on. Yeah, I was about to say I don't think you can use your bike here. But I never really use my bike because you don't really have to go that far in terms of walking, not really. But I will eventually be using my bike again. I'll be off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike. Oh yeah, this bit. And you're bound to get caught by uh, this one, which is fine. Won't step on the pad to the left of me. I think I want to go on the one to the right of me, but I'm going to go get the item first. Um, I don't think I want to go to the one that below me. Um, to the right of the item. But I guess I'll try and have a look around the place. If I can see where I should be going from there. Probably won't be able to, but no harm in trying, I guess. Yeah, this should lead to a level up. Maybe not with this Magnemite, but at the end of this battle. Of what? Unless um, a big problem has happened. <laughs> There's no way, surely, that I don't level up. Yeah, I'd have been, it would probably be another Magnemite. Unless it was a Magneton or something. I know it wouldn't be a Magnezone. You don't see that. Uh, well, you barely see it. You see it in Victory Road. Which is, um, well, it can be complicated. There are a lot of routes to explore around there, though. Um, so you have to be careful. And if I am mistaken, I think you do get a fire type move near the furnace of the eye work. Like, down here, the item you can see in the bot very bottom of the screen. So I already know that the pad that's pointing down is a troll. I've just got that feeling. So I'm going to go this way. Right, so there's an item there I could have got. Why oh, couldn't I have got it? Well, no, I'd have to get... Yeah, right, now I can get it. So I can get this item. So yeah, this wasn't the way to go. This is the way to go in terms of items. So, really it is the way to go. Obviously I want to try and show off getting all the items. Obviously it's like a big puzzle. To make it kind of hard to get the uh, items. Oh, look at that. I've gone and ballsed it up. What have I done? This ain't very good, is it? Never mind. I'll get there. Eventually. No. Actually, no. Oh, yes, I don't want that crap. Ah, oh, dear. I'll get there eventually, don't you worry, viewers. Get there eventually. See, so, yeah, I think, if I remember rightly, he's the boss of the place, that man. I don't know, I don't remember now fully. But I'm sure you can, I don't know. Is there a way I can go from here? Yes, there is. Right. right. Oh, I didn't press... Well, I must have accidentally pressed Y. <laughs> Never mind. Why, 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 Delilah? Oh, God. Well, that just looks confusing. 
Firestone. Oh, lovely. Only if I had a Vulpix. Right, so I need to be observant here. So the middle one will take me away. The middle one will take me away. The top one will... I don't know, I can't see. They all look like they might take me to the wrong place. But it might lead to the right place. Yes, this was the right place. So now I'm going to do this. Carefully manoeuvre through the booster pads. Make sure I'm pressing down. Go down. Be very careful on an emulator in this area. Do this battle, this is a given. Now I'm not getting annoyed, not really. But I'll make this worker annoyed um, by thrashing him. This is more like it, a magma. I'm going to use close combat to ensure that I KO it. So once I've done this, I'll move on to the sit gym. I'm kind of large. Whatever you special pronounce it. See, I've been pronouncing it as kind of lazy things, but it might be kind of large when I think of it. Because it sounds more like a city, the way you pronounce it, like a city. No, I don't know. But the best city of them all is England. Just to Nick Crompton. England is his city. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyway. Whoa, hello. It's not often I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles. But no one was happy about it. They said the moving floor would make them dizzy. But you don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. Star, star piece. Lovely. Oh, sell that. My iron works, it makes iron by removing impurities, blah 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 blah, blah. yeah. Don't really need to know about, um, the science behind it. <laughs> yeah, flamethrower. Oh, I'm going to get this early, because why not? I think I'm close to getting it. Um, but who cares? I think it's level 65 when you can get it. But, I'll give it blaze. Yes. It shall be Ember. So, Flame Wheel. And Flame Flower. Map Punch and Close Combat. And it's done. Do you know what? I might. I don't know. Right, so you get one of each colour, but for a star piece, mm -hmm. fair enough, for that, I can't really get much with 4,900 uh, Poké Dollars, as I think they're called. Right, so now this just leads to this area, so now it's time to go back to kind of laugh. I'm actually ma managing to remember everything. <laughs> Um, pretty easily, I'm remembering to do stuff. Maybe the holiday was good. Let me rest my memory. I mean, I was going to say hopefully I wouldn't do it, but... <laughs> judging by what happened earlier today, I probably will dare on Prince of Persia, I don't know, hopefully I don't. But maybe the holiday has refreshed everything, restarted everything. And maybe I'll do better in it, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, now it's time to uh, stop rambling on, stop messing around, stop doing the optional bits, time to do the main bits. So yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. No, no. I didn't want to know that again. So yeah, there are a lot of steel types here. Um, there's a lot of gym trainers here as well, to be fair. And I mean a lot. Might be the last thing I do. Actually, no. Maybe I'll go to the library because you, well, you have to go to the library afterwards because you meet a few people there. Because as I said, a big event. Because once this gym has been conquered, I mean, you don't have to do the things leading up to the event as soon as you do it. But 
Sometimes you can leave it, but don't mind. So yeah, flamethrower just destroys everything. Actually, I don't remember if you do get flamethrower. Maybe it's a different strong fire type move you get in the 60s. I don't know. But there we go. Flamethrower is going to make this gym easier. Oh, see, I'm guessing one of these two does lead to the way you got to go because the trainers here, unless it's a red herring, I don't know. She looks like on the Steelix, I'll be using close combat a lot. <laughs> Why am I using flamethrower? I'm forgetting Ember's not there now. This is overkill to its finest. Never mind. Oh dear. Never mind. But yeah, they've only seemed to have one, but I'm sure. Unless there was just loads of them because they had a short amount of Pokemon each. I don't know, I don't remember now. As I said, I've slept since then. Right, so he's a cool trainer. I we'll love doing the dialogue of the trainers. Only like important bits or some minor characters that run places like the uh, boss of Wago Ironworks. But here's. Scyther! Even easier to defeat than a Scyther because Scyther is just a bug. This is a steel bug. Two types that are ineffective against fire, and fire just burns through bugs and burns through steel. So, yeah. That's what I say to that. Yeah, this gym is really hard because I can use fire types, as you can presume, but there are still some bits that can trip you up. Hang on, I think that's a battle I've missed out because I didn't do the... I don't know. I'll go straight back down if I have to, then, yeah. So here's a magma knight. Lovely. And another one. <laughs> and another one. 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 So yeah, as long as I remember, I didn't bother checking. I think Flamethrower's power is 90. I don't know. I think it is. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't remember. But here we go. I think I might have missed some battles out that are like optional. Well, not optional, but you just get if you go to the wrong place. So do you know what? I've got time to waste. Well, that was the uh, troll. So was that. Do 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 do. Right. <laughs> Coming all the way back through here just so that I can do one battle because I want to show them all off. I know that might seem weird that I want to show off all the battles, I just do. So it doesn't look like there's anything across there. This is all just trolls. But I want to do the battle. Just to show it off. So, flame wheel. Bye bye. Weird noises. <laughs> Probably can't hear them, but definitely weird noises. Never mind. So it just looks like there's three magma knights, unless there was a magma pond and they're throwing a curve I doubt it though. Get this all done. For now. Dun. Dun. 
So yeah, that answers my question. But they are only being magnets and not magnetons. So uh, there we go. Ta-ta, farewell and good night. Oh dear. I feel a bit tired, but never mind. I will stay awake for you guys now. I'm not going to fall asleep. Not that easily. And what was the one I went on? Yeah, it's far, yeah. So yeah, that gap you just saw. Um, the one to the left of me. That's where, well, that's near the, well, that's where you get the gym leader. Um, and that's just your shortcut back down. So yeah, we'll reveal now. Actually, no, I won't reveal anything, but... Um, the gym leader ties in with rock, that's all I'm saying. So that's a hint. So yeah. <laughs> this blooming black belt thinks he can beat me. Who's he think he is? I'm gonna close combat this bit. And send him packing. Oh yeah, and I will say, once I do come out of the sip gym, prepare for me to do a lot of voice acting. Well, failed voice acting. Nothing's going to be as funny as my uh, princess voice in Shining Force. <laughs> that was pathetic, but never mind. I did it in a funny way, at least, I guess. But nothing will beat that. So, pop goes the steelix. I just had to say that. Just because I can, and just because I will. Mwahaha. Is that going to be on level 64 before I face the gym leader? And I don't remember his name. Never mind. But my favourite gym leader will probably be Volkner, who is the final gym leader. I'm not even going to say what type he uses. Just to keep the suspense and explode it, then you'll know. Just to secure that this is a KO, I'm going to use a technical knockout by uh, flamethrower. Speaking of TKO, I wonder what's going to happen in boxing. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of boxing. Don't really watch it. We've got this dispute of what's going to happen in the Mayweather fight. If you really want to, put down your predictions. Unless you're not into any of that stuff. As I said, I'm not really into it. I'm just a wrestling all the way. Wrestling fan. Wait to admit it either. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, I'll just move on from that. <laughs> and just talk about stats. Oh yes, stats. 190. It's not a bad amount of health to have on level 64. To be honest with you. Oh no, it isn't. Because, I mean, you could have 180 by level 60 and 192 by level 64. But that's pretty good. So it's nearly 3 HP per level. Well, that's what it's rounded up to be. So that's pretty good. But anyway, I need to go. So yeah, this red one takes me straight up. I'm going to save it. So anyway... <clears throat> Off we go. Ah, that's Orberg's gym badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my son. There you go. That's their relationship. <laughs> but that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rock, I, Byron, will take your challenge. Dun, 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 dun,
purple. I mean, he's rocking the purple here, though, I will say. So here is a magneton. Do you know what I say to this magneton? Stay away from me. Because I'll burn you. This should be a one shot. Yep. Oh, it was a critical, so I don't know. You will whip out a Steelix. As I just said a second ago. <laughs> no, I haven't forgot what the second one is. It's back to them. So I'm going to use a close combat on both of them. Because that, a Bastiodon will be able to uh, be one shot of a flamethrower. I think it's even stronger than the Steelix. So, yeah. mentioned, I think, before that this is in the section that I've... So yeah, close combat should deal with it. But we'll see. Oh, Pow, pow, pow! It might even be Steel Rock, so it's like four times damage. It's like an overkill. I don't know. But... That's that done. Hmm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. 4920, that's a lovely amount of money to get. Oh, I don't know, I'm just gonna skip this bit. It's just them banging on about how great you are. I already know how great in terms of Pokemon battles. Nah. It's, most of the time it goes down to luck. And that's a TM91. Flash cannon, that's an alright move to be fair. If you like using moves like that, I don't bother as I said. See, as you can see, it's just taking you around. Oh no, that wasn't the spot, this is the spot. There we go. And out we go. Hey, that's the mind badge, good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming a Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, Phantom, come with me to the library. See, this is what I said about going to the library. Bing, bing. Too slow. Come on, let's move it. And that really didn't even give you five seconds. So you just have to go straight to the top. And, oh my god, who am I going to meet? It's none other than... Professor Rowan. Okay, Gramps, I bought Pokemon. Come on about. I bought Phantom, like I said. Alright, I'll be out here. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I think that just meant that he was staring at him. Hmm, everyone's here finally. Phantom, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was, and who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? That's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. It will help with my Pokedex too. Phantom, you go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless anyway. Now there are three lakes. 
Unfortunately, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity, which is where you see uh, Cyrus for the first time. And I am lumbered with... Sp well, no, not yet. Spike, I wanted to investigate Lake Aquity, which is past my coronet and near Sp Snow Point City. I'll be going there later. That would take you almost to Snow Point City, <laughs> as it says there. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And you know what? I was going to catch those legendary Pokemon for you. You know, as thanks for giving us our Pokemon back at Route 201. Even though I forgot completely about it until just now. Very well, I'm counting on you. And that leaves Phantom with Lake Valor, which is near Pastoria. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. So that's either an earthquake or a galactic bomb. Anyway, has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? What was that about? No, wait, I mean TV. The TV, news, anything. So yeah, this is the lake I'm going to. A galactic bomb has gone off. What you've just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It is certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion that could explode at the lake? Gramps, they said it was an explosion. Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside, I'm concerned about the town. You kids, be careful going down the stairs. God, what's he expected? We've been trip and roll over. Phantom, you should leave now too. There may be aftershocks, however. Be alert, always. Just what I meant about quite a bit of dialogue. Oh, <laughs> time showed again. So yeah, this is leading to like the final, well, yeah, final Team Galactic bits. Slowly. That tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion to Late Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. That spike can't sit still. Phantom, I don't like to demand, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that. But I have no idea what is taking place. Before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Feverty. Phantom, you'll be okay, no matter what, right? So, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's a galactic bomb. I'm, it's not like I'm spoiling it. It is kind of obvious. <laughs> Because, I mean, in the, if you remember at the beginning, Cyrus said um, to Mesprit, who's the one in Lake Verity, that he will be coming for it soon. So it's kind of obvious if you piece it together like a jigsaw. Jigsaw. Put my teeth back in. Jigsaw. Idiot. Alright, now I'll go to the Pokemark, get some Max Repels. I've still got a few Super Repels, but I'll buy Max Repels to... Um, keep me going. How many I've got? Ugh, I'll get 27. That should be more than enough. Right. I'm gonna go for some big shopping now. Get revives. 15. That'll do. <laughs> An overload on stuff like that. There's nothing else I really need. So, I'll sell off some stuff that I might have, that I don't need. I don't know if there's anything, well, I've noticed something then. Rocking sense. You get a lot from incenses, so there we go. Nope, don't want to sell that, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's for uh, Lepti Via, or the other ones. Um... Don't really need this. 
so I, I guess I can sell it. So yeah, someone will literally pay two and a half grand for a big mushroom. Like really. <laughs> right, so, so yeah, that's pretty obvious what that's for. Star piece, there we go. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm sure I've had a nugget as well. So right, yeah, that's the shopping done for now. Big, the next big shopping I'll be having is probably Elite Four. So I'll save it. Get Starly to fly over to, I guess, Veilstone. I think it might be lagging a bit, but bear with people. And it should all eventually be fine. Probably change the gear on the bike to make it go even faster. Yeah, this is the faster gear. Right. Gonna cross this way. Just because. And yeah, once you've done the events that are coming up um, in the lake, or maybe even lakes, dun dun dun, don't reveal anything. You do get strength after the areas. Well, I'm sure you do. Yeah, you will do. Because you need strength to go through Mount Coronet to get to Snow Point. Because Snow Point is where the next gym is. See if I can get through these three paths of grass without a Pokemon Battle. Yeah. She had a two cameraman here. We're gone. Hang on, I don't know. Was it two cameraman? I don't remember. So yes, as you can see, Galactic Stooges are here. Ha 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 Next stop, Lake Verity. The closest civilization is that hick town called Twinley. We can roll in there completely unopposed. I come from that town, you son of a bitch. So here is the useless magic harps flopping about. Hang on, what? I was about to say. Would you like to join the magic harp and flop around in the mud? Now that's not nice, look. Magic Arps are pathetic, but they don't deserve to be blooming disrespected like that. Fun out your glammy owls getting punched in the face, bitch. Shall we all do it together? Pow, yes. Punch it right in its face. But I will say, I do like the Team Galactic music. Um, that is pretty good. Glorious. No, I'll stop. <laughs> so yeah, this will be neutrally effective. Because it's dark flying. And there we go. That is that. So yeah, this one's just trying to round up the magic art. Even Team Galactic has no use for magic art. Worthless. All of them. Just like Team Galactic. I find it funny because teams like Galactic, like the only good thing about them is the boss. And even then they're not the best of trainers. But they can be hard. We set off the Galactic Bomb. Its blast force was phenomenal. How dare you Nick AJ Styles line. You see, I can say that because he was saying it was phenomenal before this came out, I believe. I might be wrong. I don't think I am, though. Maybe, maybe not. If you know, I'd like to know. No, he's had that gimmick since Blooming started, so yeah. But anyway, let's just burn this gold back to the ground. Wow, well, we burn it to the ground at night. Do Going out tonight, hey, look at the baby light, doing everything we want, take anything in sight. We go until the world stops turning as we burn it to the ground at night. <laughs> nah, stop. You know, yeah, you can just avoid this battle completely. But I want to show off all the battles. There we go. And I guess it might be a good idea to avoid the battle. Well, to avoid the battle. 
if uh, you're not the best of players. Really, you're gonna move. Use a move that strikes fast and first. Well, screw you, Mac Punch does that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Mac Punch always strikes first, as long as the user is higher leveled. Like if there was a level 63 Starly, I think Blaze would be able to use a Mac Punch and get it faster. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But does it really matter? No. So yeah, keep in mind what that grunt said about Lake Verity being there. That's something you have to think about. Most probably. Yeah, you do. Anyway, Mac Punch. Lovely. Do 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 Yeah, he did take the punishment, because you're pathetic. Even more pathetic than Magikarp, but yeah, I'm just going to come here to see if there's anything. I don't think there is, but... Yeah. Anyway. Oh, he let it slip that they're going to the HQ in Veilstone. Yeah, so probably save it before fighting the next commander. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognise your face. You're the child who reigned in the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself for being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. And yeah, the Team Galactic Commander music's alright as well. But obviously, quite a lot of RPG games do have good OSTs. Because it goes with the music, because some games put music in to spill suspense. Well, loads of games do that, but RPGs usually do it well, especially Final Fantasy. Like when there's a death scene, and you've got a nice little sad melody going. <coughs> FF7. <laughs> but yeah, FF7's a masterpiece. Oh. Don't think any uh, Final Fantasy game will beat that anytime soon. <laughs> That's fair to say. And I've just noticed Toxic Rogue um, looks like he has a moustache. Looks like he has a little tash. Well. I never noticed that before. But yeah, I'm surprised this bronze ore ain't a bronze on, but I'm guessing it eventually will be. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Next time you face Jupiter, I believe. Or is it Saturn? I don't remember now. I'll see in a sec once it says Phantom B, blah blah blah. Or player the beat. Oh, it's Saturn. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Gah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the free legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. So yeah, that explains their plan. Yeah, now I'm gonna fly over to Twinleaf. Yeah, it's kind of egging you on to go over to the. Um, you go here second, though, I believe. Yeah, you come here. 
you have to come here afterwards. So yeah, I'll just go through this cutscene first. Ah, Phantom, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Oh, ouch. What's with this old timer? So you don't have to touch the water, but yes. Actually, no, I might be able to do this now. Uh, yeah, I might as well just do this double battle now. And then I'll end it. This has to be a double battle. No matter what. I think. Yeah, it does. Wow, one of them only has one anyway. All I need to do is take out this pro gunk. It is a higher level than the rest, though, to be fair. But, yeah. Push over. I'll use water gun because surf will damage blaze. Unless you make him in the barrel flinch. If it did at all. So there we go. That's Crow Gunk. Well, it should be Crow Gunk down, yeah. So yeah, the next two uh, Team Galactic members can be split into two different battles. Oh wow, it only shows then. So yeah, Mac Punch will stop Glamial from. Uh, Flinching me because Mac Punch always strikes first. Yeah, there has been a lot of uh, me voice, well, not exactly voice acting, but just like doing dialogue and all that stuff. But this is like a major part of the story. As I said, this is like building up for the final few parts of Team Galactic. Where they try and put their plan in place. If you've played this game before, or if you can guess, it's kind of obvious, you'll know, I'm guessing you'll know, or and or guess, if their plan will work. But with it being a game, is it kind of obvious that it'll work? Or will they throw a curve win, and will something else happen instead? Anyway, final Pokemon of this episode that I'm going to take out. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, it was locked onto the Murkrow, I weren't sure then. Anyway. That is this done. I've done this double battle. It's all I need to do for now. So. I'll wait until this battle's over. Then I'll save it. And then of course, you get to hear my lovely outro. Unless you don't want to. So anyway. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've had a lovely break. And it's always good to have breaks. I think it's. Been very good having a break. Um, and I hope that if you. That you've had a great. Uh, summer holiday. If you're around my age. Like if you go to school or something. I hope you had a good summer holiday. If you've been on holiday. Or going to go on holiday. Hope you've either had a great holiday or will be having a great holiday. And in general, to all of you viewers, as I said, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. So, without further ado, this is the end of this episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for my continuation of Prince Persia, Warrior Within. Goodbye, and of course, good night.